Sue back for his uh, fourth review of the of the series, and we're reviewing Star Wars Episode Four. And I decided to uh, hold it off for one more day because yesterday I didn't have as time to finish it because I didn't finish the film. I just uh, finished it today because I had to stop it at the 49 minute mark so I can head to training with no worries. So now I got training out of the way and the Legend Core review out of the way as well. Kind of, kind of review. Uh, Episode 4. Just remember, it's the start of the original trilogy. So, so put up with it. Sorry about that, I was talking to my dad. So, yeah, the original trilogy was amazing at its time, and my dad was like 51, so he knows what it is. Yeah, kind of lose my chain of thought to you. But anyway, it's a fantastic movie, and I still think it's good, even though uh, I, def I defended the prequels. But I do love the original trilogy as well, because, I, like I said in my first one, I watched, I, I probably didn't say this, but I watched prequels and originals. I watched all the way through. So, yeah, kind of, uh, Kind of weird, so. Hmm. Yeah, I say the performances in this one is kind of eighty because the nostalgia critics write that that one. I watched it again and noticed that the nostalgia critics correct because they seem to be a little off tone at times. And so uh, it goes on. As I was saying. It was a very tough movie to analyze because it's pretty old, back in 1977. You heard me? 1977. One of the oldest movies i ever seen, other than Superman the movie. And I'm hoping to watch that and review it for you. But I have to pick a time, and when I do, i let you know on the channel. On Facebook. Or Twitter. When I eventually make one for my Anger Ant channel. But, but it's always that core of characters that makes and binds us and care about the characters. You know what I mean? Like Luke, Bomber Boy, turns a hero. That story is interesting, though, and then turn to the dark side story, as everyone says. And A New Hope was uh, the title for the 1997. Uh, special edition release, if I got that correctly. So, uh, because of episode 1 was coming in two years, so they had to rename it episode 4. I knew, oh. So, what was his original uh, title, you asked? It was just Star Wars. Let me rephrase it Star Wars. No joke, Star Wars. Because that was the title at this time, because they didn't follow A New Hope. If they did, they, had, they were already made of prequels. And, oh boy, I'd like to see that version. But, Luke is the one that we focus on, and Emily Guinness, when I talk about him first, is absolutely brilliant in this. I haven't seen these other movies, but I hope I can watch another one of his. So I can actually I know who who he is before he died. Yeah, and sadly, can I do the the spin-off movie of him, of him playing Obi Wan? The only one we got is Ian McGregor. Yeah, and Lucas, uh, he was a little edgy at times and mostly a whiny boy at the start, and then he's happy in the Han Solo is, Harrison Ford was not bad in this, and for a fact, let me tell you for a fact, Harrison Ford was not supposed to be in this, because George Lucas's rule back then was to 
cast members of the cast. Okay, so I've, uh, uh, watch, watch I guess I've watched watchmojo.com. I guess they got a fully analyzed of Harrison Ford's uh, involvement in the Star Wars trilogy and Indiana Jones franchise. Yeah. He was, he was a smuggler and a, a cool character. And Leia's kind of like that bitchy, the bitchy character, but she rises and, and when she picked up that gun and fired at Vince, she rises, starts being that bitch, and then becomes uh, a highlight of all females can all females can be top guns. So my final thoughts is not a bad movie, but has a share of problems, but. Only and the main problem is the controversial issue. The changes within the Blu-ray edition or the special edition, which is Rito shoots first. Which I'm fine with it, but I haven't seen the original version in long enough so I can get off. So yeah, but I'm the guy who watched the prequels the most. So um I'm probably gonna give this uh, movie a four, four out of five. How about that? Four out of five. Just to get a start. So, episode five coming out later this week. So, expect that to come. And episode six, I'm not sure yet. But once the original trilogy is done, I can go full slate and w look at this playlist and look how much effort I put into this. And another update the top 10 best uh, list script. It's finished, so I can be on the worst, and it's still on schedule. I schedule the best to be out first, and then worst to be out later. Hopefully, it doesn't go to February. But yeah, and have a nice day, folks, and make sure you don't lose your t shirts and make yourself look bad, especially you, ladies. So, see you next time.